In a new interview with Spotify's Rock This with Alison Hagendorf, Sammy Hagar was asked if there is anything that he wishes he had included in his 2011 autobiography. Read my uncensored life in rock. He responded. I kind of wish, you know, I would have been a little more conservative about the Van Halen years, but mm -hmm. I was angry when I wrote the book. As you, when you read it, you see, cause mm -hmm. I, I yeah. mean, they threw me out of the band and they did it ruthlessly. And I don't care what anyone says, God rest Eddie soul, I love him to death, but him and his brother are, are pretty tough guys to, to deal with if they go against you. And um, they really made it hard on me at a weird time in my life. So I was angry when I wrote that stuff, mm -hmm. but I didn't enhance it. Believe me, if anything, I was, I said it a million times, if anything, I was kind to those gentlemen at that time in our lives. And I'm so glad we came back together. But I, I wish I would have had a little more, uh, if I'd have waited a little longer, I'd have, I wouldn't have been so angry and I wouldn't have been so much angst in it. I've been asked to do my own, uh, to read my book, you know, to do the, the audio, yeah. for, even nine years later, 10 years, whatever, how old it is, yeah. I've been asked to still want me to do it. They still want me to do it. I'm afraid. Because if I start reading it, I know I'm going to change it. I'm going to say, I'm going to try to be nicer, or I may tell a story <laughs> that maybe, uh, you know, wasn't in the book that I'll remember something else. According to Sammy, he has been asked by his book publisher to record an audio version of his book, even though it's already been a decade since its original release. In Red, My Uncensored Life in Rock, Hagar slammed Eddie, saying the guitarist was unkempt, hunched over, frighteningly skinny and drinking wine straight out of a bottle. He was missing part of his tongue and several teeth. He told an interviewer in 2012, what happened on that reunion tour in 2004 was some of the most miserable backstabbing dark crap that I've ever been involved with in my whole life. In a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, Eddie questioned an embellished portion of Sammy's book that painted the guitarist as a very angry drunk during the group's 2004 reunion tour. Last October, Sammy said that he was in contact with Eddie Van Halen almost weekly in the months leading up to the legendary guitarist's death. He went on to say that he was comforted by the fact that he made peace with Eddie before the influential rocker's passing. If that wouldn't have happened, I would be devastated much worse than I already am. Sammy said. It was horrible news. There's never a good time to hear news like that, when a loved one passes. It was tough to deal with, but, honestly, the music is what pulled me through. Hagar replaced David Lee Roth and Van Halen in 1985 and recorded for studio albums with the band. 5150 OU812 For unlawful carnal knowledge and balance. All of which topped the US chart. Sammy, Eddie, Alex and Michael Anthony last teamed up in 2004 for a US summer tour. In exchange for taking part in the tour, Anthony reportedly had to agree to take a pay cut and sign away his rights to the band name and logo. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.